What's up, everyone? Today, we've got some pretty interesting news about the sun that could potentially affect us here on Earth. A giant hole has appeared on the surface of the sun, and it could send 1.8 million mile per hour solar winds towards Earth by Friday, which that's insane. This follows the discovery of a coronal hole on the sun 30 times the size of Earth. But hold on, what exactly is a coronal hole, and should we be worried about this one? Well, first things first, coronal holes are fairly common, but they usually appear toward the poles of of the sun where their winds are spewed into space. But as the sun is gearing up to a peak in activity which happens about every 11 years, these holes are more likely to appear near the equator of the sun. And that's exactly where this new giant coronal hole is located. It's about 18 to 20 Earths across and its location makes it very interesting according to Daniel Verscaren, an associate professor of space and climate physics at the University of College London. So what's the big deal? Well, when coronal holes release solar winds into space, it can damage satellites and reveal stunning auras if they reach Earth. But scientists aren't concerned about this hole damaging infrastructure, though they say it may help trigger auras in some parts of the world. As these winds interact with our charged atmosphere, they can make auras brighter. But don't expect to see them down in Florida. When the skies lit up last week with brilliant auras that were spotted as far as south as Arizona, it wasn't only due to the coronal hole. It just so happens that several coronal mass ejections, huge eruptions, eruptions of plasma being thrown into space happened around the same time as the hole was facing Earth, creating a huge geomagnetic storm, which is why the effect was so strong. Now, if those magnetic lines from the coronal hole are facing towards Earth, that wind will come crashing into our atmosphere. Daniel goes on to say, if it is oriented in the southward direction, we're more likely to have a space weather event, but we don't know that yet. And if that happens, it could mean trouble for our satellites, infrastructure, and radio signals. Matthew Owens, a professor of space physics at the University of Reading, said, I doubt it will result in too much excitement unless we just so happen to get an Earth-directed CME around the same time. Daniel goes on to add, we are really behind with our prediction and forecasting capabilities for space weather. That's why we're working very hard to understand space weather. He added, with the help of theoretical physics, plasma simulations on supercomputers, and cutting-edge observations with the latest spacecraft such as the joint ESA NASA mission Solar Orbiter. So there you have it. It's a giant hole on the sun that could potentially affect us here on Earth by sending, like I said 1.8 million mile per hour solar winds towards us but scientists aren't too concerned about it damaging our infrastructure and if we're lucky we may get to see some beautiful auras in certain parts of the world but what do you think about this news make sure to leave me your thoughts down in those comments below but as always i've been your host johnny rogers and i'll see you in the next one you've been listening to the johnny rogers show new episodes air every friday at 8 p.m eastern standard time